and hello everybody, B here. Welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This is actually a live stream that I did a couple days ago. I think it turned out okay. I guess I should have been watching it while I was recording it because it has come to my attention the actual recording of the live stream that's up on YouTube doesn't have any audio, which is not very nice. I have determined that the problem was probably the music. Even though Chill Hop has a thing where you can use their music in your live streams, it seems that it didn't work. I don't know if this is because I'm supposed to make my own playlist and I can't use their music live stream for my live stream or what, so I guess more testing is required. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me if you joined me during the live stream. Hopefully the audio worked during the live stream. I honestly have no idea. How many computers do you need to film a live stream? Like you gotta do one to record what you're doing and stream it and then it's like you need another one to listen to yourself streaming it. Or how many headphones do you need? Ah, oh, so confusing. What if you're trying to watch yourself while you stream but you're streaming something that's on your desktop. Imagine the audio issues. Anyway, it was a first attempt. Uh, it didn't work on Twitch either. I tried streaming on both. But anyway, I wanted to go online to just paint, really, because I had the urge to paint. I'm using a pack of 36 oil paints that I got from Amazon. They're okay. Uh, I highly recommend buying a giant white tube of titanium white or maybe a clear oil paint because oil paints on their own are pretty dry and they don't spread as well. However, I think I used way too much white on this canvas because you can see how shiny and wet it is and I definitely didn't intend it to be this moist. I tried taping my canvas to my mat earlier in the video. I should have just taped all the borders because it just, with the white paint, it just slipped right out of the tape and I had to deal with trying to hold it with my hands for the rest of the video. This stream was about two hours. I've heard that streams should be from three hours and above, three to eight hours. Wow. If you can hear it. My voice is a little bit messed up because I was talking the entire two hours and now my throat hurts. Uh, go donate to your favorite streamer because their voice must be destroyed. N not a th in a threatening way, I just mean that... Ouch. <laughs> I was going to... Well, I did. I painted the beach and I wanted it to be purple and beautiful and sunsetty. It didn't turn out that way, but this is my first painting that I ever did without reference, I guess I should say, because usually when I paint something with oil paints, I usually have a photo of some sort right in front of me. So I'm basically just copying and pasting what's on the photo, but this came all from my mind. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. I don't know if it's because it was like... I didn't have the right brushes, or because the canvas was just too wet, or the colors weren't just right, or I just didn't have a very super clear vision in my head, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. It didn't look bad though. I think I could have done a lot better with the clouds, and next time I'll probably google how the heck do you paint clouds. But one thing I would recommend highly for oil painting is try not to layer colors. Uh, this is a good example. I painted the entire sky and I knew I wanted to have the sun there. I apparently wanted to put the yellow paint right over the pink paint and have them not mix colors. That's not how paint works when they're wet. They will mix. So I tried to wipe off the sky. I tried to wipe off the pink from the sky. Or at least dry it a little so that the yellow would stay yellow when I put it on top. 
It worked. Uh, I think I should have done that with the rest of the painting. This canvas is actually pretty big. It's bigger than the canvas that I used before, but for some reason, I don't know. None of the little brushes that I had really worked on it, and or it worked on it the way I wanted it to. I wish my brushes were thinner. I wish my brushes were like a hair long or something, but stiff so that I could still use it. A part of me while I was streaming was like, maybe I should have brought up some toothpicks or something, because I think those would have worked better. But anyway, I basically wanted to draw a cliff, and then the cliff, you would be, perspective-wise, you would be looking down from the cliff and seeing the ocean and the sky and the sand above, below it. Sand is not in the sky. It didn't really turn out that way. It just looks like the feet, the grass just turns into sand. I don't, I don't really know how to describe. But it was something that I saw when I went to the beach, and I should have taken, took, taken, I should have took a picture of it, but I didn't, and I kind of regret because I don't know when I'm gonna go back to the beach again, to be honest. But if you haven't gone to the beach and it's like an hour away from you, then go. I highly recommend to just go and enjoy the sunshine. Unless it's like hailing, then don't go. Waves are super loud and super scary. I can't imagine surfing. You are really just... I forgot what it's called, but like you're... You're at the mercy of the ocean, that's what it is. You're at the mercy of the ocean, because oh my god, that ocean can take you away. I remember there was some kids playing at, on the, in the water, but uh, like they were right at the edge of the water, right? They weren't really close, and I was like, oh my gosh, I would never go that close. Eek! <laughs> my friends were like, oh, they're safe, the water's not even above their knees. And I'm like, you never know. <laughs> You never know when a big wave might just, you know. Yikes! I'm scared of the ocean now. It's pretty, but I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay far away. <laughs> so I tried to add in some clouds and stuff to my painting. It didn't work out really, but eventually I decided that it's over. There's nothing I could do with about it with this painting, and I was tired, I was hungry, and I pretty much just gave up, but I was also disappointed in myself. So eventually I just stared at it for a little bit, and then I decided to search for a painting, not a painting, but just like an image, an illustration of kind of what I wanted to draw. And I whipped it out on Pinterest and I showed it to the viewers again. Thank you so much for watching. I showed it to the viewers and I just analyzed the painting or the illustration on the internet. And I said, okay, what's the difference between my painting and this illustration? What are some things that I didn't do that this artist on the internet did and that I could learn from? And so I just stared at both of them and I noticed like the color palette was a lot more, was a lot less, I should say. The color palette was a lot less. It was just different tones of purples and pinks and reds and oranges, while mine was pretty much the entire rainbow of colors. I think I'm going to show it in a little bit. Right now I'm just giving up a little bit. But look at how dirty my hands are and how dirty my cutting board is compared to when I first started. It's hilarious. Get so messy. I definitely should have used a palette and just put my paints on the palette and mixed colors in the palette uh, instead of just grabbing each paint from the tube because now all my tubes are really messed up and all my colors are contaminated. I did a great job. Whee! Things to learn, things to learn. I tried to show you guys the painting up close, but it was so wet and so shiny. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, that's the painting I whipped up, and now I'm noticing that, like, overall, the colors in my painting don't, don't, are not different tones of purple and pink. They're just, they're all over the place. There's yellows, there's greens. If they had, like, even the slightest tint of purple, it would look more like a sunset. Right now, I mean, I explained it to, right now, it just looks like a very beautiful sunny beach day. Except all of a sudden in the background there's a sunset. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. If it was truly a sunset, then every single thing, the water, the sand, the flowers, the grass, 
would all have a tint of purple or pink, like a sunny glow, like golden hour. This would basically what I should have painted, something like golden hour, but in purples and pinks. That would have made the palette a lot better. And I definitely could have done that if I had used a paint palette and put in the yellows and the blues and the greens and mixed it with a little bit of pink or purple. I think that would have done the trip, but just like the littlest, the littlest bit. I don't want them to change into a different color. I just want them to have the littlest hint of the tint, you know? And since I had no intentions of doing anything with this painting, I decided to just try to fix it to the best of my ability. So I tried to make the the sunset portion of the image a lot bigger because it was really small and that's something that I didn't enjoy as well. Um, but when I did that, I of course had to fill in the rest of the sun. And since my yellow tube of paint was already contaminated with green, it made the sun a lot darker than it was supposed to be. So I painted as little as I needed to, and then I left it alone. Something to fix in Photoshop, I guess. And then I made the water in the back. I gave it more tone so it wasn't just completely flat. And I quite love how the water turned out. I love the different tones of blue. If again, if it had little tints of pink and purple, it would look even better. Hell, you could argue the water should have been pink, like a light pale pink. Um, but it just looks so much better with the different, the different tones of blue instead of just being flat out sky blue. I think it looked great. Um, and I'm just showing you like the size difference. And now I have to try to, since all my purples and pinks are contaminated and there was already color at the back of the blue, I had to somewhat try my best to blend in the dark purple that the pink and blue created with the rest of the sky. And I tried doing that with clouds. Again, my clouds don't look good. Uh, they look actually quite horrible. So they kind of look like just mountains. I should have just slapped on brown and called them mountains, but I didn't want to. Eventually I just started giving up and I used my fingers to try to blend better. And then I added some white clouds on the tippy top, which is my fingers. And those are the best clouds that I made. I should have made all my clouds that way. But that's pretty much it for this live stream. This is just a little live stream summary that I created myself because the actual video that went up didn't have any audio and the lighting was really dark and yikes, just yikes. So thank you so much for sticking around and handling or in dealing with me just trying to learn these programs. Uh, I like learning, it's fun. It means I make a lot of mistakes, so bear with me. And maybe I'll teach you guys a little something if you want to learn about live streaming and stuff. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give a like, subscribe, and tell your friends that I live stream and I paint and I do bullet journal videos and I own a sticker shop. I have plan like that. Um, sorry, Etsy.com slash shop slash plan like that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.